Yesterday, we inoculated rice together with koji spores. Today, I'm going to show you how to make something called amazake, which is like a non-alcoholic or low-alcoholic version of sake. So I know a lot of you, when we made the citric barley water, citric koji barley water, uh, talked about, oh, instead of using barley, can we use rice? Of course you can, and that's how eventually you get to sake, which is mm, sweet Japanese rice wine. Amazake, some of you might have seen used in like desserts. So it kind of looks like kanji, and it's like a sweet sake kanji. Flavor-wise, I could not believe how sweet it was because the koji had broken down the rice starches into sugars. This is just rice and water and the and the koji. It it's so sweet. Kind of like it's a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet, a little bit like ricey, so a little bit kind of like sake-esque. And then um, yeah, just, just kind of like in a kanji form. And so you can drink this, but I have seen people use this in uh, different recipes as well, like different sauces. You can mix amazake into like desserts just to naturally sweeten it up. So it's not exactly like, it's not like sugar, but it's like broken down things. So it's something that you have to taste first, give it a taste. Um, it might be, you know, it might be a little bit funky at first because there is that kind of like sake uh, backdrop, but for sure, like adding it to different things into different sauces when you need something sweet, um, it's gonna add a lot of flavor. So I started off with about 60 grams of short grain white rice, which is right around a quarter cup. Um, I thought since this was the first time that most of us are going to be doing it, you know, don't make too much in case if you don't like it. Um, so make sure to soak it, wash it, get rid of the all the inorganic arsenic. Um, and then working from a, a rice cooker. So if you have one, use that. If you don't have one, you can feel free to use a pot. And generally the ratio is about one to 10, one part uh, rice to 10 parts water. So, you know, 60 grams of rice, um, I'm just gonna multiply that by 10 and say 600 mLs of water. Um, and then I'm cooking this one for an hour and a half, but you know, more or less depending on um, how strong your heat is. Uh, and it's going to look a little bit watery at first, but keeping in mind that we're going to be adding some of that dried rice koji in, so it's going to continue kind of soaking up the liquid and getting thicker. So here's the painful bit of this. We're going to get this down to about 60 degrees Celsius before I add in one third of a cup of the rice koji that we made a couple days ago now. It wasn't yesterday, sorry. <laughs> uh, and you can use the store-bought one as well. And then now, um, the rice cooker at Keep Warm kind of does around 60 degrees Celsius, but sometimes it gets warmer, which is why I'm not putting the full lid on. And th this was kind of a little bit of the issue is sometimes you had to turn the rice cooker on, turn the rice cooker off. So if you have a space where it's like generally warm around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, you can just leave it there for eight hours. Okay, and obviously if it's a little bit cooler, you might wanna leave it a little bit longer, but it is supposed to have this kind of um, sweet, very sweet uh, kind of rice wine uh, smell to it. And you can see after eight hours, um, a lot of that rice is just soaked up. It's, it's thickened some more. And generally it's kind of just served as like a dessert like this. You can have it warm, you can have it cold. You can, you can mix it into other desserts. Like you can make puddings, you can make rice puddings with it, uh, or you can filter it out or not filter it out like I did. And just kind of have this be like a sake substitute. So um, if you wanted to keep it longer, I think it keeps for maybe about a week 
maybe two weeks or so. But if you wanted to keep it longer as a whole food sake substitute, just you know, stick it into the freezer, uh, freeze it into ice cube form, and you're going to get uh, flavors that are very similar, but a non-alcoholic uh, version. So yeah, very, very easy recipe. If you, if you have the koji, the rice koji already, or if you have bought it at the store. So uh, hope you all enjoyed. There will be more recipes this week, I promise. Um, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, uh, there is a Patreon page. It helps out so much. So uh, thank you so much. And I will see you all again real soon. Mm -hmm.